Among marathoners, a number of studies have shown that the majority, about 75%, of recreational endurance runners who habitually wear shoes will strike the ground with their heel first. But in elite groups, a larger proportion are midfoot or forefoot strikers. A conclusion from this could be that better runners are more likely to be midfoot or forefoot strikers, and this must therefore be good for performance and minimizing the risk of injury. But there is a confounding factor at play here speed. The top finishers in the marathon will be running a lot faster than the bulk of the field. And when we run faster, we are more likely to shift to a four foot strike running style anyway. Elite marathoners run at an average speed of around 20 kilometers per hour, the equivalent of running 100 meters in 18 seconds, 420 times back to back. So it is no surprise that most of them don't strike the ground with their heels. Most people don't have the muscular or physiological capacity to maintain this sort of pace for 26.2 miles, and pace and foot strike pattern are intrinsically linked. There are also a number of advantages to rear foot striking. Firstly, heel striking also allows you to lengthen your stride easily and is easier on your calf muscles and Achilles tendons, requiring them to work less hard to store and release energy. Also, the thick heels and many running shoes actually make it difficult not to heel strike. Maximalist running shoes with big cushioned heels also lower the barrier for entry for a large proportion of people who have spent most of their lives being sedentary to take up running. Novice runners who have yet to develop optimal running form can leverage cushioned shoes to run in a less biomechanically demanding way hitting the ground hard with every step in a rear foot strike pattern, relying on the shoe to do the work that their neuromuscular systems are not yet capable of. But as we discussed in the last lecture, one of the biggest risk factors for injury is training volume. That is mismatched to what your body is able to sustain. So if you are a novice runner pounding the pavement with a rear foot strike pattern while wearing cushioned shoes, and for example, you immediately increase your training volume to 40 kilometers a week. Each of your legs will experience about a million forceful impacts per year.